So I'm about to start a garden tour, and I find this. Where is he? Little tiny, little itty bitty tiny green frog. Uh oh, there he is. Oh, come on, quit focusing on the trees. I want right there. Uh oh, I can't hold still good enough. But anyway, so little green frog. <laughs> Ain't he cute? Dogs went by like a herd of elephants. <laughs> so good morning. Uh, I'm not sure what the date is. September 6th, I think. Uh, as you can see, it's just kind of a eh day. Not too bad. About 60 degrees-ish. <sighs> Look at this dummy over here. Oh, oh, we'll zoom in on him if I can. There he goes. So we're glad he found the rope because this, you know, him trying to pull that tree down really wears him out. <laughs> and he'll try to pull that tree down for quite a while. So keeps him happy, I guess. All right, well, um, I'm, we're going back there. So, yeah, we're, we're working on fall here. Somebody asked about my, my garden. So, <laughs> I haven't done an update on the garden. Nope, I haven't. Uh, it's just kind of there. Selfie stick way out there like that. Hi, guys. Oh, hang on. Put in a little bit more. Hey, that's better. Look, I'm all the way across their yard. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. So, anyways. Um, <laughs> I thought they were going to be small. Just way up there. And here's another one. I can at least touch this one. Barely. Barely touch this one. There you go. <laughs> uh, so the sunflowers are... I, don't, I think that one's kind of done. Let me flip the camera. We'll get going on this tour of the garden for September. Alright, so pretty much not a whole lot grew down this aisle. Uh, you know, I learned. I learned this year again. Uh, my nasturtiums are now growing. Um, the weirdest things these are. Uh, a lot of my stuff in my garden didn't do well until here we get to some cooler temperatures. Uh, these are weird. If you ever, they, they, they kind of taste like really, really mild wasabi or horseradish. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, so we didn't do so bad on cucumbers. We didn't do great. Uh, like I got a couple more here and this guy grew a little, a little fast and, we got this going on right there. Uh, apparently, it's due to lack of water, which, yes, we've had, even though I thought I was watering enough. Apparently, I wasn't. And it could be, it could be the soil in this, this area. So, my dill, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, but it's growing. It's gone to seed, so it's growing down in there. <laughs> uh, that is fennel, so I don't. I, it, it didn't grow. I think I, I got. I, I learned a whole lot. You can't let the the weeds get like this because it just doesn't do well. Uh, the same with like say the the cabbages here. So the peas didn't grow here. Nothing grew here. It was a waste of time. Uh, I did get a couple cabbages. Some of them went rotten. Uh, I'm not sure. Like this guy here and this guy here, they're shooting up. So I'm not sure if they're bolting or if they're gonna grow cabbage heads. But like this guy's got a head. That one's got a head. The purple one still has a head. I think that, that one there is working on it, but it's going to be tiny. My um, basil did really well. I keep popping off the little flowery heads. I need to get that off there. Uh, the sunflowers, they're, they're still kind of cool looking. Uh, I think a couple of them are better than 9, 10 foot tall there. These guys just flowered here. Those ones have been flowered. Uh -huh. yep, yep, yep. So my rosemary, I, I'm going to suppose it did okay. They were just two little sprigs, so it didn't do too bad. What's really cool is this stuff. I planted this in the spring. Y'all watched me do it. It has done absolutely nothing until this last month or a couple weeks anyways. So I have <laughs> broccoli for the first time. I'm thought like I ain't going to bother growing that no more. Uh, so most of it was, you know, down here like this, little dinky ones like that. 
and since the cooler temps happen like look i've got i've got more here so we'll, we'll see how that goes it, it that's kind of making me happy <laughs> so um the, the butternut squash thing there's butternut squashes all over in there it did not do bad the brussels sprouts are are going i thought they would be taller so we'll see how that goes i know i've seen people cut the cut the top off so it grows the the sprouts out the side so i don't know when to do that um but they look good uh, that, that guy's really big um uh, i did spray for the moth <laughs> actually this the mosquito spray we use out here uh takes care of the, the larvae so as you can see it appears that i have larvae again i don't see them anywhere on there but i don't know <laughs> i think we're getting cool enough but i did see a uh i did see the moths out here the other day floating around but i don't see one of them little cattle pillars anywhere yet <laughs> now uh my my squash has done okay i'm not sure what the and this powdery mildew is what it looks like to me. Uh, I ain't messing with it. Uh, it seems to be doing okay, though. So it's roughly five foot tall. So you see, I trellised it. You can see where I've tied it. And I just kind of pruned it, not probably as well as I should have, as it went up. And, and it's grown It's grown extra extensions off the side and gone back down. There's another one here. So this thing has done really well. I did two of them. Uh, the chickens really like it so <laughs> my zucchini didn't do all that great i've gotten a few it looks like i might get some more but like this is like the third third plant of those this nightmare out here uh although those are roma tomatoes i believe and then the san marzuna lungos are in here also and then there's cherries which are you know crazy crazy mess uh, the chickens like those. You know, I don't I don't like tomatoes, but I need to get out here and do some more picking of tomatoes. The outside ones, they didn't really get as nice as the inside plants, but I didn't really maintain these like I did the inside. So, you know, the, the, the clear difference is, aside from the, the, the cherry tomato there that's about seven foot tall, uh, the rest of them are fairly short, you know, or five foot. Until you come in here, <laughs> and they're up on the ceiling, all of them. So it's doing well. As you can see, I need to come through here and do some more. Now, this would be like the third the third go around in here, and we still haven't gotten any of the fruit that's up, up in here yet. So, yeah. <laughs> but, so I've done well. Uh, four, usually a five-gallon bucket gets me like four, four quarts. Of tomato sauce yeah, but you know you see I need to come through here and do this I've been kind of working in my other shop <sighs> there, there's the puppies do we need need all the new puppies so you know weenie there's weenie everybody wants to know about the puppies too this is lyric now Lyric came from Oklahoma and there's supposed to be a knee problem do you see that knee problem she jumps like four feet in the air of course Jack Jack and then we got we got our little our little stud muffin over here. This is Bruno. Bruno's lippy. <laughs> and then of course we got Pooh over there, the orange. Now these these guys both did their job. So so Miss Miss Lily here should have either pups from him or him in here. Right, Pooh? Huh, Pooh? Hi, Pooh. And then of course we got, we got Juno. Uh, over there in here with poop and it's really loud over here oh back to the garden i i just screwed that all up doing that <laughs> oh i thought they were gonna howl oh they might <laughs> these ones are looking at me or they'd probably all howl anywho um There they go. Here, Pooh. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. So, anywho, um, I'm gonna have to back. So, I'll let the beans go. We are going to leave the rest of the beans for seed and dry beans. Apparently, you can use these for dry beans also. More like a navy bean, I guess. It's a white bean. So, we're gonna do that. As you can see, everything's gotten all woody, big, really big and woody. So that was the plan here. Like, look at this thing. You know, these are just pole beans, Kentucky pole beans. So, uh, yeah, that that's what our our next deal is out here. I have not done a whole lot with the peppers. I've got pepper pepperoncinis, as I've been corrected on, but I thought they were called pepperoncinis. But I need to also can these. <laughs> so, so we got these going. That's my first year at these. So I'll save some seeds and do it. Do them up and see how they turn out. I've got, as you can see in there, all the red. Those are cayenne peppers in that mess of weeds somewhere. <laughs> so the cardboard, the cardboard has worked fairly well. So this is probably what I'll do next year. These are bananas. Until you get into, I think we got green beans. Now the plants kind of didn't, didn't do real well. And as opposed to last year, they did great. So I have, what did I say those? Oh, cayennes. I have Fresno peppers in here. That's what the red is. I have habaneros in here. As you can see, some here, they haven't changed color yet. Some have. I've found them in here, different colors. And then I have uh, our jalapenos up, up in here. This is all jalapenos. But the weird thing is, is look how big that, oh, sorry. Look how big this jalapeno is. Now, I'm thinking that that's, does this plant give me some big ones? These make great poppers. But I think it's crossed with like a bell pepper or something. They're really big because these jalapenos look normal until you come around this side. And I've got these giant jalapeno cayenne pepper looking things. So apparently you can cross, cross pollinate them. Now I dug up some taters right here. Actually, they were pretty good. They were little red ones. I didn't get a lot. I was just seeing if they were there because, as you can see, my potato field was overgrown by weeds. So when the weeds took over, they killed off the potatoes, but they still grew a fairly decent amount. I had 20, 30 potatoes for the two of them, <laughs> and I had 100 potatoes in here, 100 tater seeds. So some of them are still going back there. But since I've dug this up, this right here, is cauliflower i believe so we'll see if that is going to grow me some as i have some more here and there's a few more in and out of all of that uh my sage is done well so i have to get my herbs out and dry them that's what the big old dehydrator is for but the sage looks great uh this would be the second batch off of sage um somewhere in there were carrots i doubt they survived i don't know what this is it's something that grew from last year, and you can see it goes all over and then goes right here. <laughs> uh, this is the second year on my asparagus right here. So it uh it looks really good. I really we we well we got some uh right there at the chicken coop on the other side of it. It's we gotta get it out of there, but we want to move it all back out here to this section. Uh, my onions, so these onions went to seed. I don't know why or what did it. Um, the, the research I got on it was that uh, the temperatures in the spring when it went really crazy hot there. and But these went to seed, so I'm pretty sure I've seeded this with onions. And I've collected some of them. <laughs> now, some of the onions that I planted, uh, I've gotten most of them out of here. Some of them I missed because they, you know, they died off, but they're growing again, as you can, you can see here, 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 here. So some of them are growing. I'm not sure what that is. Spaghetti squash, I think. <laughs> and then I believe that this right here is turnips. Because I had turnips in this hole here, but they, the, yeah, the heat, the heat again made them bolt. But I think this is turnips, so I'm leaving them just to see. Uh, maybe I will get some turnips this year. <laughs> 
And then here's this other thing again. And I'm not sure what this is. This was just growing in my compost pile that I should be turning in that I didn't because I was kind of curious to see what, what it was. But I think they're little pumpkins. Oh, it did not like that. It flip-flopped. The leaf touched it and it flip-flopped the screen for me. <clears throat> that was really weird. So anyways, uh, yeah, so that's growing in my compost. And I'm not sure Sid's over there making noise. I don't know. I got a big garden to walk around, but you see, there's another one just laying out out here. I think that they are spaghetti squash. I think I've got tomatoes just growing out in here. I've got there's another one down in here, but there's tomatoes growing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got beets right there. They they didn't look too bad. So these are the ones I, I dug out, so they, they kind of took off. I don't know if there's going to be any more in there or not, but I uncovered these. Now the potatoes, uh, as you can see right right here, that's potato. This is potato. And so some of the potatoes are still growing. So I'm going to leave that. As long as they're growing, they're still growing potatoes. And I can leave them in the ground until they until they die off. Like, like this one's dying off right here. You see she's dying off. So... Once it dies off, because that one's way over here, because I have a row right here, and then I had a row over, over here somewhere. You see the row? I see all the rows. I don't see none of them rows. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's a that's a grand tour of my garden here. But I don't know what to leave you with. Uh, I'm kind of excited about the the broccoli and. And the Brussels sprouts coming in, and maybe even the cauliflower. Uh, my cabbages didn't do too bad. I need to get this guy harvested. But yep, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do here soon. Uh, tomatoes. I'm gonna do them right now. Most of this stuff. Most of this peppers. Uh, I'll see. I think I still got leftover canned peppers, but I might just dehydrate it all and deseed it and and make like a jalapeno flavoring. I like the jalapeno flavor, but not everybody likes the heat. So, and those are hot if you leave the seeds in them. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, that's the grand tour of my garden. I learned some things. Uh, and I'll try again next year. But for now, I'm going to leave you with the, uh, let me get you all up in here. Can I get them all in there? I'm missing one. How am I missing one? But anyways. How about I zoom up on these guys here? How's that? You get the bumbly bee on there and everything. I will leave you guys with the sunflowers. Hope you all have a great weekend.